It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. This episode is brought to you by Philips One by Sonicare. One up your brushing with Philips One. It's a big step up from your manual toothbrush with both rechargeable and battery powered versions. So you can choose the one that best fits your life. Learn more at philips.com slash one. That's P-H-I-L-I-P-S dot com slash O-N-E. You are Locked On Bama, your daily podcast on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, everybody. Welcome back into Locked On. Don Bama, Luke Robinson, that's me. Jimmy Stein, well, that's normally him, but he's not here today. We're going to do a bonus episode. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk recently about players and name, image, and likeness and how exactly these players are going to be making money and what exactly all this means. I mean, frankly, it's all a new world for everybody out there in terms of sports. So I decided it'd be a great idea to have uh, some folks that may be able to tell us about all this and how the athletes are going to benefit from this and exactly how they're going to be able to hook some of these athletes up. So I've got the two guys from 98 strong, 98 strong.com. If you want to check them out, that's Andrew Mavis and Hugh Hellman guys. How are y'all today? Good. Thank you so much for having us on. Sure. Yeah, uh, and so Andrew, I'm just going to start right there. Just tell us what 98 strong is Tell us what your objective is, and how did the name come up? Yeah, so 98 Strong is, is a digital marketing platform that uh, connects student-athletes with brands. Um, student-athletes can join for free at 98strong.com. We'll never charge them anything. Uh, we'll never take a percentage of their deal. Um, we'll always you know, charge uh, the brands a certain set fee and then pay out the athletes accordingly. We'll always try to overpay and make sure they get the most value out of their uh, NIL. Um, we started this, really, my co-founder and I, um, we were former water polo players. We're 98% athletes, right? And with this new ruling, you're going to have a lot of two percenters, like, you know, the Alabama quarterback, it's, and he's already making over a million dollars, and that's fantastic for him. But you got these other sports, like, you know, the golf. You also got the football kids that won't make it to the NFL that have an extreme amount of value to their community and extreme amount of value to a brand. Um, so we wanted to, to start this to bridge that gap, to make sure that all athletes have the ability to monetize in the easiest way possible. And that's where the name comes, 98 Strong, right? We're, we're stronger together with 98% because brands love working with student athletes, and we have a lot of them. That's really interesting. And, and again, it, it makes a lot of sense uh, because only 2% of the athletes generally do go pro. Um, exactly. And, and look, I think that it's – it's great for the athletes in, in a way. I really do. I think yeah. um, the athletes being able to make money. Uh, you do wonder if you are, say, somebody like an Antonio Langham. Now, he did pretty well for himself. He stayed, played in the pros for a while. But if Antonio yeah. Langham back in 1992 when he intercepted uh, Shane Matthews and scored a touchdown in the SEC, first ever SEC championship game to save Alabama's national championship hopes, if, yeah. um, it, you know, you got to be wondering if he's a little jealous. Oh, for sure. Case that Absolutely. Because yeah. no, no telling how much money he could have made. Um, but you, right. And I also think it's great because there, there's some guys out there who won't make it into the pros, but they're fantastic college players, and they're always going to be heroes. But, you know, exactly. guys, uh, here's the thing. I wonder – I guess I'm a little nervous about all of it. I'm for it. I would have voted for this if I had had a vote. I'm for it. Um but I'm a yeah. little nervous about all this because the change is coming to college football so quickly. I mean, just yesterday, the Oklahoma, Texas stuff uh, rears yeah. its head. And I, and I, I, Hey, I'm an SEC guy. I'd love to see him here, but between expansion of conferences and realignment and expansion of the playoffs and name image likeness and um, uh, transfer portal. I mean, it seems like we're becoming the NFL on Saturday so quickly um, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, when somebody brings up the dark side to all of this, and, and or do you even consider it a dark side? Well, I think, you know, they're, they're, I, I, I totally hear you. There are two sides to this, right? I mean, you have the side where it's like it's amazing that the players finally get to capitalize for so long. The schools have been able to capitalize off of their athletic success. So that's the great, you know, piece of this. The other side of it is like, 
we want to make sure that it's still amateur sports, right? And we want to make sure that it's not turning into, you know, an NFL on Saturday because, like, there's so much value to the college football, like, atmosphere. And I think the second there's a certain, you know, amount of, like, gravitas and deals and what kids are getting, it creates an element that's a little different, you know? But I think there's also there's benefits and there are also some downsides, like you mentioned, for sure. Let me tell everybody about Built Bar. BuiltBar.com is where you want to go. Actually, Built.com. I always say BuiltBar.com because it used to be BuiltBar. Oh, cool. Now it's just Built. It's just Built.com. Built.com is where you want to go. Uh, guys at 98 Strong, I'm telling you, you'd love these things. They're delicious. I, I have to go on diets every now and again. These are good for a keto diet. They taste awesome. It's like a Snickers that's not really fattening, and that's sort of like a dream of mine. So go to Built.com. Oh, cool. Check out Built Bar. They've got all kind of flavors just today. Day, uh, or yesterday, I should say, by the time people are listening to this, they had the carrot cake available for one more day. And I've been singing its praises forever. They discontinued it for a while, but they brought it back for one day. Hopefully they'll bring it back again. Use promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off that order at Built.com or your Built Bars. Support for this podcast comes from Invent Together. According to studies, less than 13% of all inventors who hold a U.S. patent are women. Black and Hispanic college graduates patent at half the rate of their white counterparts. But we can fix that by increasing participation in innovation and patenting by underrepresented groups. It would quadruple the number of American inventors and increase annual GDP by almost $1 trillion. Invent Together is a coalition of organizations, companies, universities, and concerned citizens committed to ensuring that everyone has the opportunity to invent and patent. Because the more diverse the American patent system gets, the stronger and more successful our nation will become. What can you do to help diverse inventors patent and unleash economic opportunity? Find out at inventtogether.org. Learn more and take action today. All right, guys. So maybe how, they'll uh, maybe they'll want to work with some student athletes. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think that's. I think they will. It's it's funny. Yeah. I've already seen some things like uh, I want to ask you guys about some of the um, the players you have on board already. But you know, it's funny yeah. here in Alabama. Where are you guys from? First of all, I so Hugh and I are both from Princeton, New Jersey. Wow. Okay. So, so we're, where we're located play right water next polo. to the university. It, you I were played water polo at. So I grew up playing Princeton Club at the university, and then I uh, graduated, you know, left there at 18 and, and played at George Washington University down in D.C. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool enough. Yeah. Um, all right. So you have certainly intimate knowledge of, of some of the struggles of a college athlete who doesn't come from a lot of money or isn't necessarily uh, being given $100 handshakes back in the old days. Exactly. So you, you know the stressors of trying to study and get all of your uh, athletic work in and, and juggle uh, girlfriends, et cetera. I mean, there's a lot on the plate. And, you know, I know where some people may say, well, okay, he's water polo versus football. But see, when you're doing the water polo, it's a big deal. And, um, it, yeah. it, and it doesn't get the exposure necessarily, but so again, you feel very strongly about this, that, that, uh, kids should get, uh, some type of monetary compensation, but how fast was it, this idea born that you guys wanted to start this business? Um, did you guys already know y'all were hoping to do this? If it ever came to fruition that kids would be able to capitalize on their name, image and likeness, or, did the capitalization of the name, image, and likeness thing come first? And you're like, okay, let's get on this right now. And the di- idea happened right then. So actually, the, the, I've always wanted to be in sports, right? I you know, love water polo. I, I never saw myself sitting at a desk job. Um, you know, so I, I played professionally this past year. And, and you know, a good, my good friend and co-founder approached me back in November and was like, hey, you know, Florida might be going legal. Like Alabama might be going legal this could be interesting to like to do something with this. And, and right away we were like, how can we make this work for kids just like us? Whether that, that's not just water polo, right? That's every sport because every single college athlete, there's such a small percentage that actually goes pro and makes that big, big paycheck, you know, or has that hundred thousand followers on Instagram. So the, the idea was born like a long time ago. And then it's just, it's just good timing, like good timing and like hard work pay off. And like we had launched in April 
like our site and we're like, oh, we'll have six dates and see how we can kind of do this. And then when it went live, July 1, we were already set up and, and ready to go. We already had been talking to some sponsors, obviously not about like what kids we had, but it was like we we're already ready to roll. And that, you know, just, just really good timing. And it's become like, you know, my number one passion. And I, I love it because I'm helping kids just like me who get it, like you said, the stress and the, the amount of time that goes into it. You know, they don't have time to be DMing or dealing with brands. Like, we, we'll take it out of the equation and make sure that they get the most value out of their experience as a college athlete. So, essentially, you guys will be taking all this and then you send them a check, right? Is that how this works? Exactly. So, we'll send them how it works. is They sign up, right, for free. The second we have an opportunity, we'll send them an email alert that, or a text alert, whatever they prefer. And it's like, do you want to do this? Yes or no? Right? Do you want to take this uptime energy opportunity? And they'll say yes or no. And then from there, we'll send them a, you know, a, a quick Google form that's like, hey, I agree to post for X amount of dollars. I agree to, to not take it in my locker room or violate any compliance rules. And then we'll pay you after the content's delivered. They post the content, we pay them. So we try to keep it as simple as possible for the athlete. Uh, um, yeah, that sounds really super simple and so easy yeah. for these players to make some money and uh, they're exactly. going to need something like this because this, again, this is all new territory for everybody. So right. they're going to, they don't know when somebody calls them, they're not going to be up on all the rules. I guess you guys have had to take a crash course and all what all the new rules are, right? Yeah. Well, it's like the wild west with the rules and we're fortunate enough to have some good lawyers who are, you know, experts in this field, like on our side, Right, because there's not there's there's a national temporary law, right? But then the institutions are also developing their own rules, and that creates a little bit of havoc. Like one kid might be able to get a deal, right, at Auburn, but at University of Alabama, he can't. Now I don't. I'm just giving an example, but it's like there there are certain limitations that I think a whole nationwide rule would just be way easier <laughs> to, for the kids to be uh, following that. Oh, there would be no doubt and, about that. And it's, that's coming, though, right, eventually, right? I, I can assume. I can assume right now it's up to the institutions to develop their own individual rules, which just makes it just so much more complicated and makes it a little more dicey for kids to get in trouble. So our whole number one thing is compliance and eligibility, right? Before we send an opportunity, we're, all, we're on top of those rules. We're on top of the reporting side, making sure they know exactly what to tell to the school, giving them time to work that out, and then making sure everything is clear before they sign a single thing. You know, because me as a student athlete, I'd be not happy <laughs> if I made fifty to hundred bucks from an Instagram post and lost my seventy thousand dollars scholarship. You know. Yeah. So that's a lot of Instagram posts you got to make up. You know, if if you. Do that's that. a lot of Instagram posts, man. Right. Um. So. Andrew, let's take a break. When I when we come back, I, I want to wrap this up, but I have a few other questions for you. Sounds good. This episode is brought to you by HP Instant Ink. No one is reading your mind, but HP Instant Ink knows when your printer is running low and sends you new cartridges, so you never have to think about ink. Save up to 50%. You'll pay less than $5 a month for ink and never run out again. Find out if your printer is eligible and enroll today at hpinstantink.com. Conditions apply. For details, visit hp.com slash instantinkspotify. Every day can bring changes, challenges, and opportunities that can also change your personal or business financial goals and priorities. As a true partner, Sandy Spring Bank can make it all a bit easier. Someone who really listens, understands, and then creates solutions in hard times and good times. We'll always strive to be your advocate, today and every day. That's real banking for real life and real business. Visit sandyspringbank.com slash real, member FDIC. All right, buddy. Um, talking with Andrew Mavis and Hugh Hellman from 98 Strong uh, about all of the name, image, and likeness uh, benefits they can provide and, and um, really is interesting stuff. And, and I'm learning a lot here and I appreciate you guys joining me. Can you tell us any of the athletes that have signed up with you guys so far? Uh, by name? Um, I'd rather, and we have a couple of Alabama kids, right? We've one Jacoby Boykins, who's a wide receiver. 
Um, we're yeah. not an exclusive platform, right? They're not agents. We're not agents to the, to the students. Um, he's just a kid that signed up, and we'll, we'll work to, to get him a deal. And, and that's what I think cool about us is we're not going to limit any kid, right? If they get a big-time deal somewhere else, go take it, and we'll send you the little micro deals um, so you can make 100 bucks a week or so doing some, doing some basic Instagram posts. Um, you know, then we have a bunch of kids. We have a bunch of kids in Texas from all over Alabama, and we have over over 600 student athletes that have signed up since July 1st. And what's been cool is we've been able to have discussions with most of them about their needs, about what their wants are, and that's been a really rewarding part of this. So, how long has 98 Strong been going? It's uh, well, we in the back end work of this really started April 1st. Right. Um, and then in terms of like the go, 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 like 18, 19 hour days, that started the second the Supreme Court and NCAA rule wow. about name, image, and likeness was legal. Um, you know, June 30th, we were like, we're like waiting on the edge of our seat. Like, you know, are we going to be able to do this? Are we going to help all these student athletes? And then boom, July 1st hits. And we're like, it's a flood rush. And we were just really fortunate to be in the position to do, to do this. And that's, it really is incredible. It, it it went down so fast, and I, I know yeah. you probably know this story. Um, Bo Nix, who's the quarterback at Auburn, got a deal with right. Milo's T, and he posted on Instagram like at twelve oh one of uh, July first yep. or whatever. Well, yep. there was such backlash from the Alabama fans, like why are you have the Auburn quarterback that they had to almost immediately sign up an Alabama player. And I think they got Malachi Moore um, because, yeah. you know, it was one of those things. This is going to be something some of these sponsors will have taken consideration, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, because they don't want to be seen as biased towards one university or another. And you've got such rivalries, especially in the SEC. Like as a, as a fan, you want to, you know, they want to appease the fan base too, right? Because they want their fan, the fans of Alabama and Auburn buying their products. You know what I mean? So if an yeah. Alabama quarterback endorses it, you know, they want to make sure that they also got Auburn fans buying stuff too. So it's like, or not buying, if, if a fan would not buy it because an Alabama quarterback is endorsing it. So there's like a flip to that, you know? Um, I'm on your website right now and I see where it says be a 98 manager. And it says, okay, even if yeah. you're not an athlete, what does that mean? Yeah. So our, our, our whole objective with this, right, is to have managers at, at universities that are interested in helping student athletes. Um, that maybe aren't athletes that want to get involved um, and help them get deals, right? Because you know we're 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 a team of of four full time really and like ten interns. So you know we're we're able to do a lot and we're going to continue to grow. What'd be really cool is our mission is to have ambassadors from every single university that's helping these kids, monitoring these kids, so that everybody gets as much attention as possible. And that's what we're that's what we're building towards. So you want when you say you want to be a ninety eight manager, they need to be a student at the school then. Yeah. Or or maybe not. Maybe it's somebody that's business savvy that's located around um you know, in the state of Alabama that just wants to, to head up that area and, and help organize that, you know? And it, I think very, that, I just wanted to add to that as well. I think that that's a really it's a really cool opportunity for a student that's you know, wants to get into sports management or anything like that to really, you know, move into the field in a way that they can, they're connecting with student athletes, they're connecting with businesses. It's a really good resume thing for a lot of these student athletes as well, or a lot, yeah. a lot of these students to help the athletes. You know, when I was at Alabama, I went to, uh, to the university from 91 to 95. And when I was there, gotcha. I was good buddies with a backup quarterback named Jason Jack and um, I played basketball all the time. I got to play uh, with James Hollywood Robinson and Robert Ory and a bunch of guys that were there. And um, wow. boy, I would have, I would have loved this opportunity. Of course, we didn't even have the internet then, so it would have been very difficult yeah. for me to sign up online when there's no internet. But um, right. you know, you you'd really have to have that go getter attitude to make that happen. Um, yeah. But guys, I really do appreciate your being with us today. This is fascinating stuff. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, in your endeavors here. I think it's a cool thing that you're doing. And um, I'm so glad to see y'all are out there and and hopefully y'all can capitalize on this idea. And, and, you know, just y'all are welcome on here anytime. I really appreciate you having us on and we're we're so excited to bring value to the students. That's our number one mission. So thank you. All right, guys, we'll talk to you uh, again on the next podcast. And until then, roll tide.
This episode is brought to you by Spotify Greenroom. Have you ever listened to a podcast like this one and you wanted to bring up your own point or just chat with other people that are listening at the same time? Well, let me tell you about Spotify Greenroom. This is the first social audio platform made just for sports fans. The app is free to download, and once you're in, you can talk with us, other fans, athletes, insiders in real time about your favorite sport or team. Download the app, currently available on iOS devices, Create a profile, link your Twitter, join one of the groups for the latest league updates, and then you'll see us there. Spotify Greenroom, changing the way we talk sports.